In this video, we'll be learning how to use the TI Inspire CX in order to enter data inside our calculator into a list, and then we'll learn how to use that data in order to find statistical measures. And what we mean by this is we'll learn how to find the mean, the median, as well as the lower quartile and the upper quartile, all in one go. Now, to do this, uh, we're going to use this data here which I'm just moving around the screen now. We're told that a list of students uh, sat a test and they're graded out of 20. And the results are shown here in the lower right hand corner of the screen. So we can see that the grades are 18, 15, 12, 3, 6, 13, 1, 10, 10, 11, 0, and 15. And so we're interested in finding the mean, the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile for that data. So let's see how this is done. On the home screen of our TI Inspire, the first thing we'll do is select, uh, or rather make, a new document. So we go ahead. And since we're dealing with data, and more particularly lists of data, we're going to se select the fourth option, Add Lists and Spreadsheet. So we go ahead. And now, in this first column, we're going to enter all of our grades. And it's usually best to always name the column. And so at the very top here, this very top cell, I'm going to enter grades. There we go. So everything in this first column is going to correspond to the grades the students obtained. Now, this first row, this first gray row, we leave blank. And we start entering our data in the, the row numbered 1 here. So our data was, we saw that the grades obtained are 18, 15, 12, 3, 6, 13, 1, 10, 10, 11, 0, and 15. So there we go. All of our grades are now entered. And that's how we make our list of data. So let's see how we can now uh, calculate the mean, median, lower, and upper quartiles all in one go. So to do this, we're going to place ourselves in the cell right next to the top value here. So I'm placing myself right next to 18. And I'm going to select Menu on the calculator. So I click on Menu. And here I can see I've got several options here. And the one I'm going to select is Statistics. That's the fourth option. And the next thing we select are Stat Calculations, meaning Statistic Calculations. So we select that. And here we have loads of options, but the one we'll be interested in, in fact, is the very first one, one variable statistics. And so if we simply press enter on that option, the calculator then asks us the number of lists. Well, in this case, we only have one column, so it's simply one. And it's asking us what the, which column it is, or what's its name, what its name is, and so we go ahead and select, and we can see that it finds grades, which is what we named our column. Since for the moment we, we're not dealing with any frequencies, there we haven't, this is a very simple case of data entry, we don't need to enter anything else. We can leave the frequency list as one and leave everything else blank. And we can now press OK. And there you go. The calculator then includes all of this new data or all these results into our spreadsheet. And we can see right away that this entry here is the mean. So the mean grade that the students obtained was 9.5. The sum of all the grades is 114. We have the standard deviation here. We can see that there are n is equal to 12. That's the total number of values that, or the total number of students that set the test. The minimum value was 0, so min x is 0. The lower quartile is 4.5, that's q1x, lower quartile. The median is 10.5. The upper quartile, q3x, is 14. And finally, the maximum value is 18. So I'm just drawing our attention to these entries here, the min x, q1x, median x, q3x, and max x. If we needed to plot a box and whisker plot, all of our information is right here. We have the minimum value, the lower quartile, the median value, the upper quartile, and the maximum value. 
And that's how we obtain all these measures in one simple click with the TI Inspire CX. And there you go. I hope that helps.